Hey everyone, Panda back with you. You know what? I started playing Railroad Corporation. Taking me back to my days of uh, Railroad Tycoon, you know, back in the 1990s. Oh my god. Kind of exploring different railroad games. But hey, a uh, little bit of advice I have for you guys. <laughs> you know, play whatever mode you want. But uh, and it's actually pretty good to play the, uh, the mission mode so you can learn. You know how to do things in the game but you know once you accomplish the end of that mission it totally resets your map moves into something else so go to the free game mode free game you can choose the type of sandbox you're looking for here okay <clears throat> and it's not going to reset your thing you do get objectives that you can do but you're not going to be uh you know penalized or lose your progress for not doing those objectives yes they do have a time limit you know in a matter of days but anyways um let me kind of show you what i'm talking about here uh, i'm just gonna go load game let's see this is my last one yeah this is my last make sure you uh, save your games too <clears throat> excuse me this is like so fun oh my god i mean i am completely new at this but i just want to share a couple of tips with you that are very very important once you get into your game because you're going to invest a lot of time in this and you know what it's really fun it really is It's going to take you a little bit of time, but what I want to what I want to uh, tell you here. See, I've got almost a million, but I tell you what, that's going to be small cookies. When you get into the uh, bigger engines, the research, and everything else you're going to be doing. <clears throat> this is the map I'm playing on right now. And you can see, I've got so much to do, but here is what I'm talking about right here, right now. Okay. Your starting area, your office, make sure you upgrade your office all the way, all right? <clears throat> Take your time, upgrade your office. The reason for this is because you want the trading department. Now, the global market option is available in warehouses, okay? And let me show you the importance behind that. Now, right here, you can see I have a warehouse. You have the city market. Okay, and this is if you have different things attached. Because in this one, you can buy land. Like, for example, I put a sawmill in, right? Okay, but then you have the commodity exchange. Commodities are all the stuff that you can bring in to your city and when you have X amount of those you can sell these okay your city does not have to have a demand for these if you have this function opened up and have your warehouse for those okay they will store in your warehouse and then you can turn around and sell those it's like, for example, my city has no demand whatsoever for coal ore, right? But my warehouse has four of 50. And you can turn around and sell those for fast cash. <clears throat> now, in your city market, this applies to industry that you have built in that city like an example i built a sawmill okay so i have lumber and i have paper now if you click on these and then come down here to this button right here and click on this this is going to transfer each individual unit back into your warehouse okay i'll show you what i'm talking about here in a second all right So come over here to Commodity Exchange. Now we're going to look for what we just put in there. We put lumber in here, right? Yes, we did. There it is. Turn around, sell the lumber off. 
you can see the number drops and then of course we have paper we we'll come here and we're gonna sell our paper off and look at the number go up that's why it's very very important in your main starting town develop your office and develop your warehouse now the nice thing is once you develop your office and you get the function for trading department you can put a warehouse in any other city and you can pump commodities into that left and right like over here I have grain you know I'm yeah this track looks really whacked out. I'm gonna get rid of that track but I'm still learning but you can come down okay like for example uh, what I'm gonna be doing uh, working on next is down here everything is set up down here upgrade your uh, station all the way as well so you have three track segments that you can hook up to you see in this area down here what I'm gonna do I have a commodity over here I have cotton I have grain I have more grain I have cotton what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link everything up and send my trains out to these areas and all those commodities are going to come in to this town even if they are not in demand they are going to go into your warehouse storage upgrade your warehouse as high as you can so you get you know 50 uh, units of storage and then you can sell that it's an easy way to make money but you have to be in the sandbox mode guys I, oh my god there's so much to do in here you know my next video I'm gonna talk about uh, your research upgrading locomotives you know just because you get the next upgrade in a locomotive does not mean it's the better locomotive you have to pay attention to a lot of different things the horsepower the pulling mass and the max speed those are your big things but we'll talk about that on another video as I progress uh, further and I can show you guys this stuff but yeah that's some uh, tips for you guys to think about on railroad corporation and you know what uh, we're gonna be having railroad corporation 2 coming out here real soon it's going to be basically kind of the same type of gameplay but more kind of moving forward into more of the uh, modern type of trains and whatnot oh, I'm just so stoked and excited guys but yeah hey other than that I'll see you on the next video I do for uh, railroad corporation keep safe and peace